Greetings class, Mr. Muneer here with your first uh, video instruction for robotics class. Uh, today what we're going to be covering is the basics of how to um, tie in nuts and bolts and we're also going to be talking about the chassis um, and attaching bearings to the chassis so you can put wheels in. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the first thing I'm going to talk about is just how do you use this? These tools. First off, this tool is called an Allen key. So that's an Allen key right there. And let's see if I can zoom it and focus. Uh, maybe too close. Ah, nice. So this is an Allen key, and this is an, what's called an open end wrench. Okay. So we use that for these things which this is called a bolt. You can call it a screw if you want. This is a nut. Okay? Bolt. So, bolt, nut, open-end wrench, Allen key. Um, this is called a Keps nut, and it's special because it's got this little gear-looking thing on one side. You always want to screw the gear-looking thing in, so, it's facing the head of the bolt, okay? Because this, when it presses against the metal, this little gear looking thing that, that actually spins, when it presses against the metal, it keeps the nut on there nice and tight. So, I'm just gonna give a quick demo on um, how this works. So let's say I wanna uh, attach these two pieces, right? Well, the first thing I wanna do is line it up. Whoops. The first thing I want to do is line it up to how I want it screwed in, okay? Once I have it lined up, I'm going to take a bolt, I'm going to press it through. Simple like that. Now, obviously, this is still wobbly because the nut isn't on it yet. So, I grab the nut, I put it in there, let's see if I can zoom in even more. Let's see if I focus, come on, focus, focus. Focus. No? No? Too close? Okay. Well, oh well. So, I want to put the caps, the little gear thing, in. So, it's okay if it shakes a little loose while you're pushing it on. Like that. I'm not concerned about it holding it tight. I'm trying to hold this on perfectly and keep this, and notice that I'm pressing my thumb against it to keep it in, right? If I don't press my thumb against it, when I try to push this in, chances are the screw's gonna come out. So I gotta really press against it. I'm just gonna just show you, like I'm pressing against it like that. And then I have that there, and then I'm going ahead and tightening it on. See, so I'm holding the nut, or I'm holding the bolt, pressing it against, and I'm tightening it. But notice that's still loose, right? So I don't want that. So the best thing to do is you take your Allen key, and notice that the Allen key will fit right in to the head of the screw. That's what it's for, okay? So you can put the long side in, you can put the short side in, depending upon what you want to do. You put the short side in when you really want to get it nice and tight, most of the time you just use the long side to get it tight. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stick the long side in, and I'm going to hold the nut with my finger. So I'm pressing on it, and then I tighten. Okay, and notice it kind of spun a little bit. That's fine. And go ahead, just tighten it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Now it's nice and tight. Okay, but it's not tight enough because you notice it still wobbles. Well, that's because I only have this one screw in it. So I'm always gonna wanna attach a piece of metal with at least two screws. And you'll see that in the pictures that I put on the presentation, that I put another screw basically right there. Okay? So I do the same thing. I'm pressing against it with my thumb. See? Pressing against it with my thumb. And then I'm taking the bolt, holding it together, Show you. 
boom, just screw it in, just like that, okay? Cool. Now, I can use this to hold the nut, and then if I really want to get it really tight, this is what you got to do. Use the wrench to hold the nut, see how I got that on there? Okay, I use the wrench to hold the nut, and then I tighten the Allen key. And that's going to get it nice and tight. And then when I want it really tight, I put the short side in, it gives me more leverage, and boom. You press against it. You don't need to force it ever. You never need to force it. Don't use strength. That's not what tools are for. Tools are for to help you, so you don't really need to use your strength. You just do it until it's tight, and then there you go. It's not going anywhere. Okay? So that's the basics of using the Allen key and the open end wrench to tighten uh, nuts and bolts. Okay? So eventually, you're going to wind up with something like this, right? Eventually you wind up with something like this. Okay? I put a bearing in here. Don't mind the bearing right now. Um, but you know, I I've already got pictures up, so there's no sense in me like showing you the whole thing, because the pictures I think are pretty descriptive. But you can see where the nuts are, where the bolts are. And this is our chassis. And the basic idea is the wheels are going to go out here. I'm going to have gears in here for my drivetrain. I'm going to have motors. I'm going to have all the brains and everything. It's a whole robot. We got to build it. Okay. So um, I've built my chassis. Now I want to add in bearings. Okay. So how am I going to? Add in, now we're gonna add in bearings. That's a question, yeah? Alright, well, the first thing is I have to know where I want my bearings. Okay? So that's, that's the first question. So let's see if I can um, zoom in a little bit more. And then put it down. Alright. So, here we go. The first thing is where do I want my bearings? So this is a little bit awkward to show it to you this way. So maybe I can show it to you like this. So if I notice, I've got three rows of holes on these. These are called steel chassis rails. These side bits that are just like 90 degree angles, like corners, those are called just steel angles, okay? Um, these bits are called steel chassis rails. These are called steel bars. This one's a little bent. It's not supposed to be bent, but who cares? Okay, these are called steel chassis rails. Chassis, C-H-A-S-S-I-S. -S -S. Okay, so these are the rails of your chassis. Nice. So each rail, notice, has one, the top row, the middle row, and then the bottom row of holes. Okay, so it's got three rows of holes. Now we want to put these bearings. This is a bearing, yeah? We want to put these bearings um, in the middle row. Okay? Now technically you can put them wherever we want them, but uh, the design that I've got for you, it goes in the middle row. Okay? And the question is where? So you know you're going to put them on the middle row, and you need to put it on the the inner and the outer rail for both sides. So both sides have an inner and an outer rail, and you're going to need to put the bearings on both sides there. Okay, so on one side, you just have to be consistent. On one side, you're going to count one, you're going to count one, two, three, four holes, okay? And the bearing then is going to go in the fifth. So we're going to put it here, okay? And this is the front of the bearing. Notice that the front of the bearing, it kind of has these ridges. The back of the bearing, it's hard to see them, but it's got these little teeth that stick out of the holes. And those four teeth that, that make up like corners, basically, those help to keep the bearing in the holes. 
Okay, so one, two, three, four holes, and then I put it in the fifth. Okay, so the front is facing out, and the back is against the steel rail. Then I take this thing, it's called a rivet. Boom, rivet. Not rivet like a frog, rivet like a rivet. Okay, now there are two parts of a rivet. There's the pin, and there's the sheath. Okay, the pin goes into the sheath, and they both go into the bearing, into the back end, through the metal first, and then in through the bearing. Now, depending upon the state of your rivet, sometimes you can put them both in at the same time, other times you're going to have to put the sheath in first, and then put the pin. Okay, but it's really straightforward. Like, I just take the pin, and I put it back through the back end of the bearing, and then pop it through. And if you do it right, you'll hear a pop, okay? It's really that simple. And so if I can show that to you, that is the result. You see? I put it back through there, okay? So I'll do it again and show it to you. So again, I'm taking this pin. Sometimes it helps if you pull it out a little bit, pull the pin out a little bit, and then it compresses that little end bit. So I'm taking this pin. I'm going to put it back through the metal, and then, boom, you hear that pop? Nice. It's nice and secure. You know you put it in right because it's secure. It's not moving anymore. All right? So let's do another one. Let's do another one. So I'm going to do another one on this side. Now this side, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five holes and put it in the sixth. Okay, so I maneuver it in the middle row until it kind of locks. And it'll lock in place and you won't be able to move it. So I'm gonna put another pin. I'm gonna put it in the sides. You don't have to put it in the sides, you can put it in the middle if you want, but look, boom, dropped it in. Now, so that works. Now what if you get one like this, like a rivet like this, where it's kind of stuck out on the sides? I don't know if you can see that. See how it's kind of stuck out? You might need to pull it out and put the sheath in first. So let me demonstrate what that would do. Because if it's, if it's kind of old and beat up, sometimes it won't work if you try to push them in at the same time. So you just take the sheath and you put that in and that'll pop in. And then you take the pin and you put that in and that'll pop in. Boom, see? Cool. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but on the outer rail. Okay, so I'm going to put the bearing in, and I'm going to put it so it's in the exact same place, you see, as the inner one. Then I'm going to take a pin, put it in there, another pin, and put it in there. Boom. Just like that. See? See? I'm going to do the same thing here. Make sure... It's in the same relative location. And put a pin in here. And then oops, one final pin in here. Boom, or red, I should say. And there you go. There you have it. And you're going to do the exact same thing on this side, okay? You're going to do the exact same thing. So I did it on this side, but I've got to do it on this side. Now, I've already put one in there, but let me demonstrate how you take it out. Okay? So I put one in here. But let's say I want to take it out. Well, the easiest way to take it out is to use an Allen key and to just press on this pin. Okay? If I take an Allen key and just press it like that, it's going to loosen it up, and then I can pull it right out. If you don't do that, it can be kind of hard to take them out. Like you can kind of mess with your nails. It'll hurt your nails sometimes. I mean, a little bit, but you could do it. But the easiest way is to just take an Allen key, press it out, and then you're good. Okay, so that's um, putting the bearings in as long as well as the rivets. And with that being said, uh, that's all I really expect you to do for the next class period. Um, I think most of you, that will be enough. And I'll make another video on the next step, which will be putting the wheels in. So to kind of summarize it, what did we do today? I taught you the basics. Hello again. I taught you the basics of using the Allen key and the open wrench to screw in nuts. 
uh, bolts and nuts, right, to tighten them. And then I taught you how to put in bearings with rivets and where you're going to put them for our design. Now, if you need more help in this, that's okay, and I get it. And what I would suggest to you is this. Um, you know, I'm giving you a ton of information in terms of how to build the chassis, how to build the robot, where you're, you're going to put places, pieces, and how you're going to put them in, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but if I give you too much information, if I really walk you through literally every single step of building the chassis, then in a lot of ways you're just watching me do it and then repeating. Right? But I want you to learn, and sometimes part of the learning process is messing up and making mistakes. So if you struggle with this, know that that's okay. And I kind of expect at least some of you to struggle with it, if not all of you to struggle in certain points. Um, and if you're not struggling, then you're probably not learning so much. So uh, embrace the struggle, embrace the challenge, and do your best. Um, I love you guys always. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Um, that's it for me for now. Until next time. Enjoy robotics.